Hi, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mon's PC Tips and Tricks. And in today's video, I'll be covering how to choose the best CPU for you. And the first thing I want to talk about and recap in case you haven't seen the last video is the budgeting and the various factors that you should be looking at when buying your CPU. Now, the first thing I want to bring up is how much you should really be spending on your CPU. Now, you want to spend around 20 to 25% of your total budget on this specific component. And the first factor that I want to talk about is something that you should be really looking into when buying your CPU is the price to performance ratio. Now, obviously, this is quite important as you want to ensure that you're spending as less as possible while getting the best performance. And obviously, you can go about doing this by asking some PC experts on Reddit, or by just searching up simply their specs and ensuring that you're getting a better price on the CPU that you are buying. Next, I also want to talk about the desired performance. Obviously, this is completely up to you, and you choose how much you really want out of your CPU. For example, if you're going to be playing some of the higher-end games like Warzone, Cyberpunk, some of the games that might require a stronger CPU, obviously you're going to be looking at the mid to high end budget for the CPUs. Whereas if you're only going to be playing games that don't require as much power, maybe like Valorant or League of Legends, you might want to get a mid to low end budget CPU. And similarly, you also want to look at how much workload you're going to be putting on the CPU. For example, if you're going to be streaming and gaming, or if you're going to be video editing, rendering, anything like that, you might want to get a mid to high end CPU, maybe with 6 or even 8 cores. And lastly, I just want to mention that it's completely up to you, but the CPU is quite an important part of the PC. And if you wanted, you can get warranty on the CPU, just so that your mind is at ease in case anything goes wrong when building the PC or while it's being delivered. You don't have to stress about having to buy a new one, as warranty will cover it. Now, the first CPU I want to talk about for a low-end budget is the Ryzen 3 3100. Now, this is actually the CPU that I have, and it's worked amazing. The specs for this CPU includes the following. 4 cores and 8 threads. It has a 3.6 GHz base clock and a 3.9 GHz max boost clock, and it only uses about 65 watts of power. Now, this CPU is amazing for gaming. I've used it for almost all my work, I've used it to play various different games, I've played Warzone, I've played Cyberpunk, I've been playing a lot of Valor, and the CPU that I'm currently using, I love it. It's so amazing, I can get any gaming done, If I, I can do light video editing, I can also try streaming, so overall it's an all around really well made CPU, and it only costs about $150 Canadian which is why I love it so much. Now for the mid-end budget for the CPU I picked is the Ryzen 5 5600X. Now if you go anywhere online or you ask a PC expert, this is undoubtedly probably one of the best mid-end budget CPUs, if not the best. And the specs for this CPU is the 6 cores, 12 threads, it has a 3.7 GHz base clock, and a 4.6 gigahertz max boost clock and only uses, similar to the Ryzen 3 3100, only uses 65 watts of power. And this is an excellent CPU, like I said, if you're trying to get video editing done, trying to play some of the higher games, play and put ultra settings, get high amounts of FPS. If you're looking to do all of that, this would be an amazing CPU for you. And the last CPU I want to talk about for a high-end budget is the Ryzen 9 5900X. And this is the top of the top. It is an amazing CPU as it contains 12 cores and 24 threads, 3.7 GHz base clock, and a 4.8 GHz max boost clock, and uses 105 watts of power. Now, this is extremely high tier. If you want to go this high, completely up to you and I will be putting all the links to the CPUs as well as their prices in the comment section down below in the, sorry in the description section down below 
And the last thing that I want to talk about, and just to clarify in case you're not aware of what the X means, essentially the X at the end of some of these CPU names, essentially what it is, it's an extended frequency range. And in other words, it's ex it's putting extra megahertz on each of these individual cores within these CPUs, which contain the most load. And to put it into simpler terms, any CPUs that you see that have an X at the end of, they essentially have a faster base and boost clock frequencies when put under certain conditions. And this can prove to be extremely beneficial when trying to do various different things using these CPUs. And I hope that this video helped clarify any questions or concerns you may have regarding you trying to buy a AMD Horizon CPU. I hope you now have a better understanding of how these CPUs really work and what you might want to be looking at when buying a mid and low end or high end CPU. Anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like below. Thanks.